ASAT, all season, all terrain, ASATCAMO.com. What we did is we contacted ASAT, we got a couple hunts planned out west, we wanted something layering system. We're from the south, we don't hunt out west, we wanted to know what was what, so he walked us through it step by step, what we would need, what kind of products. Merino wool was first and foremost. Uh, I've used this so far this hunting season. Uh, I hunt in South Central Arkansas, in Louis, you know, Central Louisiana. Went with a merino wool, top, quarter zip mop, bottom, merino wool, nar pants. It's a four way stretch material. Uh, very, very good. We like it. It's kind of like an athletic cut. And then I went with the high wood hoodie. The high wood hoodie has a, a little bit longer zipper. But it's a it's a very good wool type blend material and it's perfect. Uh, when I 27 degree weather work great. Pair it with so you got your merino wool, you got your nar pants, and then you got your high wood hoodie. Then I went with the extreme vest. Go ahead. We also have the. Bowhunter's jacket, which is real nice. It has a removable hood. It has some vents. When you get hot, you just zip open your vents. Cool down a little bit. We have the gloves, the hat. We have the merino wool neck gaiter as well, which, you know, people use them as hats, a face mask, keeps your neck warm, multi purpose. We have the beanie, ASAP beanie. And we have the ASAP Extreme Jacket. This jacket is windproof. The name Extreme says it all. It's, it's for a really low temperature. It's, it's a very extreme jacket. I mean, I hunted in, in central Arkansas. It was 27 degrees on three days, three mornings when we got up and was going in. It never got above 34 degrees that day. Um, the only time I wore it, when I was riding my players for four miles in to my stand. I mean, I had to ride two miles down one road and then cut across down some other trails and it was pretty long. That's the only time I wore that extreme jacket. When I got off the players, I took it off, rolled it up and it went in the, you know, it, it stayed there. Forest, looks like we got a lot of stuff, but basically what it is, is we got a bow hunting jacket that works very, very good. It's well worth the money for the bow hunter jacket. Lots of zippers for as vents. You got two hand pockets in the front. You got two zippers to kind of keep cool for when you're hiking. If you got to walk in a long ways, uh, the extreme jacket and the bow hunter jacket also comes with a hood. Uh, the vest, I I wear a vest personally all the time. I, I really like it, especially when I'm hunting. It's just one of those things to where as long as my core is warm, I'm warm. Uh, my legs don't get cold all that much. My arms doesn't get too cold. I just like a vest and. I kind of really like that. And when I pair it up with this high wood hoodie, with this hoodie and this vest, that's what I wore 90% of the time when I was in Arkansas hunting. In the mornings after I got off the bike, I took the extreme jacket off and I carried my bow hunter jacket in just in case I got a little cold while I was on the deer stand. Uh, but like you said, I'm sitting for all day sits most of the time. So you do get cold to a little, to a little extent. But these pants, very athletic cut, very maneuverable. You, it's a four-way stretch, so you can actually, you know, stretch them out, whatever you need, and it's functional. I mean, it, 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 they actually function very, very well. Uh, we did our research. That's why we went with ASAT. It just, it, the stuff works. It's not a pretty camouflage, but hey, it works. We we put it to the test. We we hunted on it. We got some videos coming here shortly. Uh, just some hunting videos. It's not much, but. Like I said, it, it's some good stuff. We, we really like it. We're, we're pretty excited to use it. Uh, so far, so good. Haven't had any problems with it. So, Like we said, it's, it's not pretty, but you're not wearing this to prom. So you're wearing this for functionality. Um, and I hunted in central Louisiana. And what I wore, you know, I'm skinny, so I get cold pretty easy. I wore the merino wool as my base layer, nor pants, had the vest and the bow hunter jacket on and I was comfortable sitting all day and it was from 40 to 60 and the second day I hunted it did rain all day and the wind was kicked, it kicked up a notch so I brought my extreme jacket with me and when I got to my spot 
I put the extreme jacket on and I was comfortable. I mean, it was drizzling on me when I was blowing. And these pants, everything, the pants and the jackets, the water just rolls right off of them. You can see it bead up and roll off. It's it's really nice. Yeah, they, they're not what you call 100% water resistant. I mean, you will get wet, but they're water, they, they repair water to a certain extent. So uh, if, if you're walking in grass or if you're walking in knee high stuff that's that's wet or damp, you, if you're walking for a long period of time, yeah, it may kind of bleed through a little bit. But if it's just a light shower and say 20 minutes and it's just light or, or drizzle, you should be fine. But we do have some, some rain gear, but we didn't want to break it out. We haven't even used it yet. Uh, it snowed on me in Arkansas all day. It didn't stick, but it did. You know, So we was out in the elements. It, it rained, drizzled, uh, sleeted, then it snowed. It, so it, it does work. We like it. Uh, but yeah, it, it seems to be some good stuff. It kept us warm, and it, it's... It's functional. I, I think it's going to be a very good deal, especially when we're packing in the mountains and, and hiking. We wanted some lightweight stuff to where we didn't have 50 pounds of just clothes on us to stay warm. I, I'm not sure about the weights, uh, but we'll have that on our length as far as how much everything weighs as a total package without the extreme jacket uh, because I actually don't think we're even going to need it when we go out west. No, we're not. We're not. Um, but as far as everything, it's, it's very lightweight, it's layerable, uh, and that's what we bought it for. We wanted something that would layer, so. And after this video, we're going to show you all the different, we're going to be out in the woods with it. We're going to show it in use. We're going to show you how it looks against the different backgrounds. And we'll even show you from the deer's perspective what it looks like. So just... Don't, don't forget, put a comment down here below telling you what you'd like us to see in the future as far as this camouflage. If you have any questions about this camouflage, we're also going to have it to where you can go to BehindTheRiserOutdoors.com. You can actually click on the link and go straight to ASAT, and they can answer any questions. You can reach out to them, and, and they, they, they're very helpful and knowledgeable on all this stuff. And Look, they don't mind the phone call. They don't mind emails as well. But like I said, leave us a comment below. Also, like this page and subscribe to it so you can see the further videos that we put up later on about ASAT or any other products that we're reviewing. And don't forget this is ASATCamo.com and don't forget to visit us at BehindTheRiserOutdoors.com.